standard normal distribution. In the previous video, we have discussed the normal distribution where x follows n mu sigma square and its PDF is given by f of x 1 by sigma root to 2 pi e raised to minus x minus mu the whole square divided by 2 sigma square and the values x takes or the support of x is from minus infinity to plus infinity. So that is a normal random variable and it is denoted by x follows normal with mu, mean mu and variant sigma square. Now what we are going to do is we are going to check a transformation. A transformation of this x where x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So our task is to find the distribution of this z or the PDF of this z. In order to find the PDF of z, what we know is the Jacobian transformation. So to find this PDF f of z, I'm going to write f of x in terms of this z into mode dx by dz. So mode dx by dz is sigma and f of x in terms of z is equal to 1 by, 1 by sigma root 2 pi e raised to minus z square by 2. I got this z square because x minus mu by sigma square is there. x minus mu the square by sigma square is there. So taking this wall term to be z square. And on cancelling this sigma and this sigma, I will get 1 by root 2 pi e raised to minus z square by 2. Where? z takes the values from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is the formal definition of a standard normal distribution or standard normal random variable and it is as follows. A random variable is said to be a standard normal variate if its PDF is given by if of z is equal to 1 by root 2 pi e raised to minus z square by 2 where z is from minus infinity to plus infinity. So we have told this is the PDF and what we are going to do is we are going to discuss about the mean, the mean of the standard normal variate. So in order to find the mean, we are going to find the expectation, expectation of the random variable is z. So expectation of z is equal to integral over the range of z, z f of z, f of z dz. That is the range of z is from minus infinity to plus infinity and z into the PDF dz. So I had taken the constant term outside. Since I had taken the constant term outside, what is left is minus infinity to infinity z e raised to minus z d square. So I am going to consider this z e raised to minus z square by 2 as g of z, another function. And if I take g of minus z, g of minus z will be minus g of z. So we can say that it is an odd function. So integrating an odd frame function from minus infinity to plus infinity will yield me 0. Therefore, this expectation of z becomes 0. Therefore, the mean of the standard normal distribution is 0. Now we are going to find the variance, the variance of the standard normal distribution. So, sorry, I had written variance of x, it is variance of z. So, variance of z is denoted by v of z, which is equal to expectation of z minus its mean the whole square. So, here we have got the mean to be 0, therefore, the mean is 0 here also. So expectation of z minus 0 the whole square which is equal to expectation of z square. So expectation of z square is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity z square into f of z dz. So we can see from here it was z that contributed to the odd function. So since it is z square here this wall term is an even function. 
So I can, I will be able to directly write it as 2 into this wall integral from 0 to infinity. So it is 2 divided by root 2 pi integral 0 to infinity z square into e raised to minus z square by 2 dz. From here, I am going to give a substitution which is z square by 2 is equal to u. So, z square is equal to 2u and 2z dz is equal to 2du. Therefore, z dz is equal to 2, sorry, du. So, I will get dz is equal to du divided by root 2u. So, this is equal to 2 by root 2 pi integral 0 to infinity z square can be written as 2u into e raised to minus u into dz can be written as du divided by root 2u. So, I can write this as 2 divided by root 2 pi into integral 0 to infinity root 2u into e raised to minus u du. So, this is equal to 2 root 2 integral 0 to infinity u raised to 1 by 2 into e raised to minus u du divided by root 2 pi. So, I will get it as I can cut this root 2 and this root 2, isn't it? So, what is less put is 2 divided by root 2 pi. From integrating from 0 to infinity, u raised to 1 by 2 can be written as u raised to 3 by 2 minus 1. And e raised to minus u is e raised to minus u itself and into d u. So, I had changed this u raised to 1 by 2 as u raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 since I can use the gamma function e raised to minus mx into x raised to p minus 1 dx is equal to gamma p divided by m raised to p. So, this is of this form where p is equal to 3 by 2 and m is equal to 1. So, I can write it as 2 divided by root pi into gamma 3 by 2 divided by 1 raised to 3 by 2 which is equal to 2 by root pi into Gamma 3 by 2 is 3 by 2 minus 1 into gamma 1 by 2 divided by 1. I had written this because I can write gamma p is equal to p minus 1 into gamma p minus 1. Because if I take gamma n, then it is equal to n minus 1 factorial. So, n minus 1 factorial on expansion will give me n minus 1 into n minus 2, etc. up to 1. Isn't it? Yes.
So similarly, if I expand this, I will get gamma p is equal to p minus 1 into p minus 2 factorial because this is gamma p minus 1 is p minus 2 factorial. So similarly, I can write it as 3 by 2 minus 1 and 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2. So I can write 3 by this gamma 3 by 2 as 3 by 2 minus 1 into gamma 1 by 2. So this is the reason. So this is equal to 2 by root 2 pi into 1 by 2 into we have already said gamma 1 by 2 is equal to root 2 pi. This is a relation. This is also a relation. Therefore, I can write it as root pi. So, this is equal to 2 and 2 gets cancelled and root, root pi and root pi gets cancelled and what is left is 1. Therefore, the variance of z is equal to 1. And also, the mean of z is equal to 0. So, we can say that if z is a standard normal random variable, standard normal random variable, then we can write z follows normal with mean 0 and variance 1. So, this is the standard notation of standard normal random variable. So, it has mean 0 and variance and the standard deviation as 1. Now, we are going to discuss the moment generating function of a standard normal random variable. And it is denoted by m z of t since z is a random variable. So, I can write it as m x minus mu by sigma of t. Isn't it? Because z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. Now, there are some properties of moment generating function or the MGF. What is it? m ax plus b of t is equal to m x a t into e raised to b t. Isn't it? Yes. So, from here, I can use this relation. So, this is equal to m x by sigma minus mu by sigma of t. So, this is of this form a x where a is equal to 1 by sigma and b is equal to minus mu by sigma. So, I can write it as m x a t. So, a is sigma. So, t by sigma. 1 by sigma is a. So, m x t by sigma into e raised to minus mu by sigma t. From this relation where here a is equal to 1 by sigma and b is equal to minus mu by sigma. So, this is equal to m x t by sigma into e raised to minus mu by sigma t. We know the function or the moment generating function of normal random variable, isn't it? What is it? Which is equal to the moment generating function of this normal random variable x follows n mu sigma square was 
e raised to mu t plus t square sigma square divided by 2. So here it is mxt. So it is the same moment generating function. But instead of t, it is t by sigma. So what we have to do is we have to replace this t by t by sigma. So it will be e raised to mu t divided by sigma plus t square sigma square by 2. So it is t square divided by sigma square into sigma square divided by 2 into a term is left that is e raised to minus mu by sigma t. So this is equal to e raised to mu t by sigma e raised to mu t by sigma plus t square sigma square t sigma square into sigma square divided by 2. So this is equal to t square divided by 2 and I can club this also to this that is minus mu by sigma t. So this is equal to e raised to t square divided by 2. So this is the moment generating function of a standard normal random variable.